Hey everybody, hope you're doing well today. It's Carpo. I've been on kind of this symbolism kick lately, so, you know, be assured that uh, for my subs, you know, I changed my subject matter a lot. You know, a year ago I was talking about apocalypses and shit and prepping, and then I go into some spiritual, you know, Eastern philosophies and whatnot, but I always come back to ground base, which is just searching for the truth, and that's all that matters to me. I don't care if, uh, uh, you know, I know sometimes it comes across uh, differently than I intended. For example, somebody made a comment on the video I made about blue-eyed people that uh, the science was flawed and whatnot, and, uh, you know, perhaps I should look a little deeper into some of these things before I post a video about them, but uh, know that the videos I make are never intended to uh, omit ever anyone or to question anyone. And the reason why I seldom make videos about numbers, about symbols, stuff like that, is because I don't like the flack that people give you when you do, because everyone has a different perception on what these things mean. For example, you start talking about Jesus, you know, uh, a group of people think he's real, a group of people think he's a symbol for the sun, because they've watched too many documentaries, and a group of people think that it's both, um, and some people just think it's a, a, you know, a symbol for enlightened humans. Anyway, <clears throat> so I just want to go, and I'm just going to kind of... Uh, I'm kind of going to work up a few numbers here, and I wanted to get as detailed as I could, so I wrote down a few notes. But the number 72 has always fascinated me. Ever since I uh, was younger and I heard about the 72 virgins thing, you know, and in Islam they believe you get 72 virgins in heaven. And then so that number stuck in my head, and every time I hear it somewhere else, <laughs> you know, it's like, it's amazing how much time, how, how often this crops up. And we should know that 72 is, uh, well, 72 is... <laughs> is a very important number in not just religion, but in astrotheology and astrology. So I'm going to start off with the list that I wrote down, and this is the best of. I mean, there are a lot of different things 72 means, but this will give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Okay, now the whole idea is Jesus had 12 disciples. But there's a part of the Bible, a passage, uh, what was it, Luke 10, where he uh, speaks of having 72 disciples. So he has 12 and 72. Jesus sends these 72 disciples off. The reason why this came into my mind so strongly today is because I just got done watching the new Star Trek, Into Darkness, and I've never watched any of the Star Treks before, but uh, I downloaded it and I thought, eh, you know, I'll check it out. And it was pretty good. On board the ship, there were 72 missiles, you know, 72 bodies inside these rockets that they had, they were, these were these enlightened people who had gained this, you know, universal awareness. I'm not sure, I can't remember the details of it. The point was, there were 72 of them, and then there was one guy of the 73rd who was released and it just blew me away because you know this whole the whole archetypal thing with movies I mean it's so obvious but when they start throwing around numbers like that I figured it was time for me to act on this number <laughs> so uh, Jesus had the 72 disciples that he sent off and supposedly to fend for themselves he says I send you off as sheep among wolves and a lot of people consider it to be kind of a harsh thing to do but I think that there's something to be said about this now in a, Kabbal in a Kabbalistic theory, there's 72 years is the average of a man's life, okay? And so this goes back into, um, uh, you know, some very ancient Jewish philosophies, too. But uh, the one that really is important to know is that the 12 signs of the Zodiac. There are 12 signs to the Zodiac, yet there are also, there are 12 constellations, the main constellations of the Zodiac, but there are 72 additional constellations, which they're called... Uh, para, paranatellans, and these are secondary. So, you know, the relation is just too strong there. Um, so I went off to search the number 72 further, and I dug deep on this one. And I didn't just quote one source, I went through many, and this is, I've been writing these down for a long time. Uh, there are 72 degrees on each side of a pentagon. It, you know, made me think of the pentagon right away, of course, but uh, very interesting shape, the pentagon with the star inside. Uh, you know, um, 72 degrees is considered room temperature. 72 is the average heartbeats of each adult per minute. So it's the beat of the heart of the adult. It's also the average of a man's life, or it was. Uh, that was the, considered in the, uh, you know, the ancient philosophy. Um, it's the atomic number of hafnium, which I have to do more research on that. I don't know what hafnium is. 72 is the percentage of water in the human body. <laughs> it has a lot to do with humans. It's very interesting. So the axis of the Earth shifts one degree every 72 years, right? And this is the precession of the equinoxes, 
which in the end I believe is 25,920 years, which they just say 26,000 years. And um, it's, uh, it's an interesting concept, but uh, anyway, I'll keep going. So the axis there shifts one degree every 72 years. This is the precession of the equinoxes, and this is considered the, the constellational the zodiac, the shift, where we go through the shift of the ages, which you could say the age of Pisces. We're moving into the age of Aquarius, which is how the correlation between Christianity, when they speak of uh, when, the, when the man pours the pitcher of water, you know, you move into the next age. Uh, you know, there are many, many biblical notes of this, and all the way down to the reason why the Pope wears a fish on his hat. Uh, we're moving out of Pisces into Aquarius. Um, there were 72 languages apparently spoken uh, in the Tower of Babylon, according to biblical, you know, folklore. Um, 72 names of God. And in the old men of the synagogue, according to Zohar, there were 72. There were 72 Muslim virgins. Here's one that got me. Set had 22 accomplices in the death of Osiris. So this number just goes on and on and on. The last one is good. 72 plus 72 is 144. 144 is considered the name of ascended masters, the amount of ascended masters who are helping us. It's also considered the amount of humans who will ascend in the lore of uh, the Jehovah's Witnesses. But you take 144 and you multiply, or you double that, and you get 288. You add another 72, and you get to 360. Of course, that makes sense. 72 times 5 is 360. That would be why the Pentag Pentagon has 72 degrees on each angle to make 360 total. And, uh, so, 72. There it is. That's what I've got so far. I'm going to continue on this one, but, um, you know, I'm surprised that there isn't more information. You know, even when I try to seek it out, I can't seem to find it. I might find a video where somebody has some postings, this and that, about it. Uh, might make some assumptions or conclusions, but there is a lot more to be found. So uh, I'm going to keep on that one and uh, let you all know what I found out.